have started the recording. Okay, good morning. Uh, I'm Rohit from CrowdStrike, and I'd like to thank each one of you for joining us today for the Securing Wellness webinar. Before we begin, please note all the attendees will be on mute during the webinar. You can post your questions in a Q&A tab. Please try to mention the name of the panelist to, the, to whom the question is addressed. We will answer the questions after all the sessions are completed. For today's webinar, we have Jagdish Mahapatra, MD Asia at CrowdStrike for the keynote session. Our guest speaker, Pahal Mahapatra, will conduct a session on nutrition. And Abhijit Singh will be covering physical fitness session. I would like to thank Vikas and Elite CISOs for associating with us for this webinar. I would like to invite Vikas to kick off the session. Over to you, Vikas. Thanks, Rohit. Good morning, everyone. Uh, do you guys see my screen? Can anyone confirm? Rohit, can you confirm if you see my screen? Yes, I can. Yeah. Perfect. So again, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Uh, from wherever you are joining in, I see that there are a couple of international participants as well. So the best part of today's webinar is that I am not the main speaker. Okay, we have got great lineup of panelists will be talking for the majority of the part. See, initial five minutes, I'll quickly run you through about Elite CISO, what we are, what do we do, and how do you can engage with us. So, uh, Elite CISO as a concept, we started almost one and a half year back. And what, what we were looking in the industry was that the security events were being conducted by uh, the event management companies. So there were no CISO uh, or the industry professionals who were running the show. So there was certain element which was missing from all the events which were happening. So four of us, uh, Anuprita Daga from Yes Bank, Fal from DSP Mutual Bank, uh, uh, Mutual Fund, Rishi Rajpal from Concentrix and myself Vikas from Taluna. We got together, we had the similar thoughts and based on that we started this platform called Elite CISO which is for CISOs and by CISOs, right? That's what we started. And now we have chapter across India. We have more than 1000 um, members in our WhatsApp groups. So I will quickly share our objectives. The objective, it's a, it's a non-profit entity. We do not make any money. We do, it's not a commercial organization. Okay, so our whole purpose is the mutual success and collaboration of industry peers. In our WhatsApp group, there are different CIOs and CISOs from different organizations. We talk about the problem, we share our challenges, we share our knowledge. So that's, that, was, that is one of the objective based on what we started this whole Elite CISO platform. And then we, we conduct various sessions and the focus is on knowledge sharing. So whatever event we conduct, we tell our partners, our vendors that, okay, you have to sell your product. <clears throat> But the focus has to be knowledge sharing. Talk about what is what is happening in the industry, what are the new technologies coming up, what are the challenges being faced by different organizations, by CISOs, and how do you address those challenges? So that's how we, we conduct our events. We not only focus on technical skills, but we focus on leadership skills as well. I personally believe that technical skills are very much required for uh, CISOs because security is technical, but again, only technical things will not take you ahead. You have to have the leadership skills as well. So we conduct various events around the leadership skills as well. I'll share one slide uh, around that. And we conduct various uh, events. So the format of events is different. So we conduct smaller focus group like 25, 30 CISOs. Uh, this is from Delhi where we did a round table with RSA. This snapshot is from Mumbai. Mumbai also, we have got a great uh, presence. We have a strong chapter over there. Fal and Anuprita are running that chapter. So this is from a Thales roundtable that we did. Now, apart from the smaller 25, 30 uh, member events, we also conduct bigger events like 100 plus CISOs. So we did this workshop in Delhi with AWS. There was no, no event management company involved in this. Only Elite CISO with AWS. We conducted this phenomenal event where we got more than 100 participants and we talked about the cloud journey. If you are moving your workload on cloud, what are the security challenges? How do we manage that? So this event also went very well. And then we conducted 
uh, this session with CrowdStrike. I'm very, very happy to say that this was our very first event with CrowdStrike. 100 plus participants in Delhi, January last year, phenomenal event, that's what we did. Great, now apart from that, we conduct webinars as well with international speakers. Uh, I'm not sure if you know this gentleman or not, his name is Tim Medin. He, he, in, he uh, found out or invented or you know explained about something known as curb roasting. So curb roasting is a way through which you can hack Active Directory domain controllers. Phenomenal speaker, he's a science instructor as well. So we collaborated with him, he presented uh, his findings, you know, his perspective to our members. And then talking about leadership, we conducted another event with Kian Williams. He talked about ROI, whatever you are investing in security technologies, how do you get benefit out of it? So great sessions out there. Uh, and then CISOs have to deal with finance or CFOs day in and day out. Getting a finance knowledge is extremely important for CISO. So we conducted this event with IIT Delhi professors. It was a full day event where great professor Jen was there. And for the entire day, we talked about different nuances of finance. How do we understand the balance sheet? How do we understand the cost? How do we understand the return on investments? So again, phenomenal session conducted for our members. And apart from that, we also focus on fitness. It is not something now after COVID-19 situation, we are talking about the wellness and fitness. We have this focus already, right? So this is from last year, we completed uh, something called 100 days of running. And after the completion, we did this gala event uh, where we all got together and celebrated our success. So this, this is again a virtual group. We have CIOs and CISOs from across India in this group. So if you want to be a member on the last slide, I will share my coordinates. You can send me an email or a WhatsApp and I'll add you into that group. Now, apart from fitness, we also focus on CSR. You know, uh, we do some charity wherever possible. And this is one of the uh, pick from a charity that we did. We went to an orphanage and we distributed some stuff. And even for today's webinar, the number of participants I see that there are about 90 participants right now. So number of participants multiplied by 251 rupees, we will, we will uh, give towards PM relief fund for COVID-19. And then talking about today's webinar, you all understand that we are in a very different situation. This is the time where we are under pressure, right? We are CIOs and CISOs need to enable work from home. The business continuity is at the, at the forefront. Now, there's a great, great quote that I recently uh, saw around this, and it says, it is only when gold is put under fire, it glitters. And when concrete is put under weight or pressure, the crack appears. So we, we are not the concrete. We need to be gold at this time. The organization needs us. They need us to ensure that the environment remains secure and the business continuity is maintained. Now, doing all this, I, I know Rishi Rajpal, he enabled more than 100,000 employees are there in his organization. Can you imagine getting everybody or majority of them working from home is a huge task. It's a challenging task. So within, uh, during this time, we have to find the right balance. We don't have to crack. We need to maintain uh, the business continuity as well as we need to maintain our wellness. We have to be focused and stay fit. If we are not fit, we will not be able to manage this. Okay. That is the whole theme of this entire webinar that we are planning. So Jagdish, Payal and Abhijit, they will talk about, so Jagdish will talk about CrowdStrike offering basically. And then Payal and Abhijit will talk about different wellness aspects. Um, so before I pass it on to Jagdish, I would like to again thank you all for joining the webinar, jumping on the call. And if you want to be a member of our Elite CISO groups, uh, you can send me email either on this email ID or you can send me a WhatsApp and I will add you into the group. So uh, thanks again. That's what I wanted to you know, uh, quickly welcome you guys. And now I pass it on to Jagdish. So Jagdish, over to you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Vikas. Good morning, everyone. 
Um, I feel very inspired uh, just listening to how uh, Vikas, you and Elitsis, your journey has been in your pursuit. Um, and and we're we'll very proud in CrowdStrike to be associated with, uh, uh, with the team and we look forward to really working even closer. So what I want to do quickly today uh, is to bring up uh, what's going on in our world today. Um, I promise you it's not going to be about uh, CrowdStrike and technology only, but a lot around what I'm seeing. Uh, this is an example of um, what possibly we'll see more and more. This is a mail that came to me um, three or four days back from our health provider, Cigna, who does our uh, health pro uh, provision in, in Singapore. And you can see there, uh, there is already outreach to their customers to, for the doctors and health to be provided on a virtual platform. And that got me thinking, aren't all of you in this, uh, in this call here, the CIOs, the CISOs, aren't you trying to make sure that a digital version of your business, a virtual version of your business is available to your customers, isn't it? So I thought I'll just focus on what I think is the theme that we will probably be dealing for the rest of our lives. Uh, I call it a concept of weightless world. And if I can just simplify what weightless world means, weightless world is a time where the economic activities are predominantly transported to the digital format. As you can, as you can see here, healthcare, we've talked about that. Music, you know, we've seen IT services, we're starting to see more and more industries, bulk of that transactions happening on a digital format. So if that's what it's going to be, and if it's going to be uh, accelerated by what we are seeing right now, it's outbreak or a pandemic, what's the impact can we expect on the business architecture and on the security architecture? So I want everybody to remember this date, 17th November, 2019, shouldn't be very hard. Uh, we can debate how accurate it is, but this was the first time we saw a detection of a potential COVID-19 uh, patient out in China. Now, cut to today. What we're seeing today in India has already happened in China three or four months back, even five months back. And we've seen this journey from different countries as well. And that brings me to the point that firstly, we are going to be more and more interconnected as, and that's something we probably will not be able to get out from, but that inspires me to put up something that um, William Gibson said, that the future is already here. It's just that it's not evenly distributed. So some of you who don't know who William Gibson is, he's the one who coined the term cyberspace that we use that so, so loosely now. He's the one who actually came up with the word cyberspace. And how true is it? We're actually living a time that potentially China has lived five months back, so the future was already happening. So the point is, what can we expect? We're using Zoom to connect, you know, we are about 200 of us getting together in different time zones, and who knows that better? Today, Zoom's market cap is standing at about 42 billion, depending on what time you're looking at it. And I'm trying to capture the market cap of top three US airlines. You can add the math up, and you'll see that it's still smaller than Zoom. So maybe we are reaching a point where teleportation will use up transportation and that will have impact on how we will engage with our customers, how you will engage with your customers, right? I thought I'll put a few things up. We could be the last generation which will see a distinction between online and offline world. I believe in that. I think the next generation will have a seamless transition between the two. So there'll be no distinction between physical and virtual experience and business. I think agility will get redefined in the new times. We'll talk about that. Uh, cloud that we've been talking about, I think it'll avert the online and offline world. It'll, be, it'll turn the world inside out when it comes to business or the way we will interact. And I think whether it is COVID-19 today we are dealing with or future outbreaks, businesses will have to plan for pandemics. I'm pretty sure none of this comes out as a surprise to you and a lot of you might already be planning for future readiness and continuity. So how ready are we with our business architecture for the next pandemic, right? And from CrowdStrike point of view, we've always believed that when it comes to security, cloud first or cloud native is the way forward. It's even more visible and clear now 
that we need an architecture which is on the tap, which is simple to deploy. As you start to mobilize your remote workers from their homes, and you can see the traffic pattern. It's interesting when you should see how the traffic pattern has changed in the last two weeks with more and more countries in lockdown. We believe that the only way forward for your business architecture with business applications and security will be using and leveraging cloud. And, and that's happening. So we don't have time now to constantly update our systems, update the signatures. So really have to look at the most agile way to do that. And I believe we've, in CrowdStrike, we provide that future-ready platform. Well, it's also important that we need to know who our enemies are. Why it's important? Because as the business is going more and more virtual, our, your employees are working from home, you are connecting and supporting your customers from home, you will find a situation where our vulnerability at this point in time, whether it comes to systems, even our mindsets, our, our adversaries are using it. Um, you know, you know that in CrowdStrike, we track almost 130 plus adversaries around the world. Some of them are um, nation states, some of them are criminals. And we've started to see a lot of that enhancing in the last four weeks. Uh, there was a campaign of phishing email um, using the current COVID-19 theme, uh, you know, uh, on, on the platform, using uh, spoofing uh, WHO. And a lot of people fell, fell into the trap. And you can see here, it has resulted with fair amount of criminal activities happening around the globe and India is no exception. I've also tried to put up what we've seen in terms of threat detections and attacks in the last four weeks in India. You can see enhanced attacks, some of them coming from targeted nation state actors as well. So all I want to say here is as you are light on your socks, as you are light with your team working from home, make sure your architecture is designed to catch these new forms of enhanced and more sophisticated attacks that we are seeing and you will see. So the point is, we can't wait for a superpower or a vaccine to come and help us when it comes to the outbreak. Same is true about business as well as security, right? We believe the right way forward is to get out of this whole reliance on updates and signature approach. So you've got to look at a signatureless approach you got to look at machine learning. And some of you might have heard us talking about it a lot, but that gets even more clearer now and more imperative now. How do we use cloud? How do we make sure there's a collective learning? As we are seeing here, uh, the last thing we want in this outbreak uh, lesson is to put a ranking of nations who came first. I mean, that will be tasteless. I think what we need to understand here is we got to be even more together in this fight. And cloud native architecture allows the concept of sourcing the threats together and making each one of us more powerful than our adversaries, right? So we will continue to really provide that because we believe that this is a time as you care for your customers or we care about you. And I'm happy to share two things we are trying to do for our existing customers. Please leverage our current programs. You can go for um, uh, a burst in your licensing. We are offering that pro bono till almost uh, end of May, we can extend it as it, uh, as, it be, as we see the situation. You can go pro bono for a burst of your license. And also we're providing Falcon Protect Prevention for home devices, which aren't currently covered under your corporate policy. For uh, one else who is not a CrowdStrike customer, we have um, many options. We can do a cloud assessment for you. We can offer you a 15 day trial. And then the team of CrowdStrike is ready to engage with you as you navigate your transition to cloud and get your remote workers ready. So these are options available. All I want to say here is um, we got to be staying safe and healthy ourselves to be able to keep our business continuity up, but to stay safe and healthy ourselves and keep our customers uh, online, we got to have a healthy balance as Vikas rightly put it. We need a nice healthy balance of how psychologically we are feeling, how are we feeling in this between the two years, and then how we can keep our body in sync with to be agile to all the needs of our customers, our near and dear ones, uh, and our family members. This is also a good time for us to really show our gratitude to the people who give us a lot of service. So I really want to thank uh, all the essential service providers here. I, sometimes we believe that uh, they, we, are the, we need them the most, but we sometimes value them the least. So this is a good time for us to show some gratitude. But I really want to uh, now tee off to the next session where we will focus on 
how we keep our minds and body in sync with, uh, with the current situation and be ready for future. So I'm going to uh, now hand over to our next speaker, um, who's going to walk us through uh, what we could do on the wellness side. So over to Payal. Thank you, Jagdish. And I couldn't be happier talking to everyone today. So how's everyone doing? And thank you, Elite Thesos, for yet again giving me an opportunity to do what I love the most and something that is absolutely dear to my heart. So before I begin, uh, I would like to quote Thich Nhat Hanh, a Vietnamese monk. And when I'm going to quote his words, I want you to focus on my words and probably feel their impact with your eyes closed. Breathing in, I calm my body and mind. Breathing out, I smile. Dwelling in the present moment, I know this is the only moment. Now, once you feel these words, does it help you calm down a little bit? How are we really looking at this COVID-19 pandemic? Is it a wound or a curse? Or is it a time to reboot? Let's find out. So who am I? I am Pyle and I would like to identify myself as a health and wellness crusader whose sole motive or life purpose is to help you and support you in living a better life every day. Um, I am an alumnus of the Institute of uh, Integrative Nutrition, New York, and proudly so. So please, um, you know, if you're interested in something like this, do look up on their site. They have been doing phenomenal work um, for the last 30 or more years. And this is how, um, you know, health and functional medicine is going to be and is going to change your life in the future. So what are we talking here about securing wellness? Uh, what does wellness really mean? Wellness is a state of being in good health, especially as an actively pursued goal. Now for people who have been chasing wellness as a goal for most of their lives, you will feel that those people are in good health and are not likely to get as impacted during this pandemic. So I would really request each one of us should really more than business, more than making money, more than anything else, because as in, you know, the wonderful quote that we have in Hindi, Jaan hai to Jahan hai. So if your wellness is intact, everything in life is intact. Now, what are the, I mean, I've, I've tried to simplify this by explaining the mind-body connection and the actions that you take in terms of supporting them. We are bombarded with all kinds of information right now about COVID-19, about how the economy is going to crash, you know, how business is going to slow down, people losing jobs, taking pay cuts. The, app, the internet is absolutely flooded with all kinds of information. What are you choosing to consume as energy for your mind? Are you getting frazzled? Are you getting anxious? Are you getting depressed? Are you getting worried? What kind of effect is that creating in your mind? Is it because the moment you process these emotions, there are biochemical reactions that happen in your body which come under stress. And when I say stress, there is cortisol. What does cortisol really do? So irrespective of whether you are um, eating the healthiest of foods and working out every day and going on your runs. If you have more than necessary cortisol in your body, a lot of your bodily functions are going to get impacted and you're going to put on a lot of visceral fat and you're going to keep getting unhealthy and more prone to disease. Similarly, what you consume is food. Yes, in stressful times, we are more prone to eat for our emotional hunger than our physical hunger. 
a physical hunger is a very calm state of hunger where you know it's time to eat. When you sit down for your meals, you're eating as much the body needs. And you're processing that food in your body in the right way. But what does emotional uh, hunger feel like? An emotional hunger is very impulsive. It's very specific. You feel like eating, no, I want to eat sweet or I want to eat something spicy or something salty. That's emotional hunger. And then when you open that packet of chips, you don't stop at one. You just finish it to the last single salt crumb that is there in the packet. That's an emotional hunger. So you need to identify when your body is actually craving for nutrition, when it is hungry to eat that food, or it's hungry to just, you know, gorge on something because you're feeling anxious, you're worried, you're, you know, you're feeling stressful or you're bored. You don't know what to do in that moment. So our body knows how to deal with everything that's going on. But most of the times we come in its way. We don't support or aid it the right way. So similarly, when the mind is processing stress, how does stress impact the body? What stress does to the body is, it's for example, you know, um, you get pickpocketed, okay? Or um, somebody comes and bangs your car. Now it's a bad hit and the instant reaction that you get is that I need to get out of my car and I need to chase that guy down. And when you're chasing the guy down, you're not thinking rationally. You're not using your conscious thinking because the blood is rushing into your limbs. Why? Because the body's instinct is to, you know, you're angry, you're reactive, you want to chase that guy down, so you need to run. Do you think that your body will be able to, you know, focus on the growth of its cells or the digestion or any of the important functions? No. When you go through these, you know, these kind of emotions, what happens is that the blood starts flowing outwards and there is, you know, there's no enough blood circulation that happening in the fascia or the organs. So your digestion gets impacted and with poor digestion, there's low absorption of nutrients and then it's a cascading effect. So like I said, what does really, I mean, yes, it's a pandemic. It started somewhere, but now it knows no religion. It knows no age, sex, you know, it's happening to everybody. It, it doesn't identify a poor from a rich. So even if you are business holders and you hold key positions in organizations and you're worried about your team and you're worried about your family, do you think that, you know, being anxious and anxious is something which thinks, so depression is something when you think about what happened in the past, anxious is something when you don't know what's happening in the future, but you're anticipating it to be true. It has not happened, but you think it has already. And that's how you start becoming anxious because you don't know the outcome and you're dreading the worst. So you're, you're dreading that the economy will come to a standstill and your business will get affected and all of that, even if it is true for a certain amount of time. But if your health and wellness is intact, if your body is able, if your mind is strong, you will be able to recover from that just the way you recover from a cold flu fever because the body has that kind of capability to pull you out. It's the same way when you're thinking about your food supplies and your immunity. Now, immunity is not a 24-hour game, but yes, you can make it a short-term you know, goal and then live it through once you start realizing the absolute you know, unending benefits of having a strong immunity because that allows you to live a life which is so much full of joy and happiness. And you can, you can share that level of joy with your family members, with your friends. You're able to do more. You're able to grow more in your business. And this is all fine because according to medical science right now, there is no cure. And a vaccine likely won't be available for at least a year or longer. And that means that it's imperative. We both, you know, you and I here, we find other ways to keep ourselves healthy and strong. Because our first line of defense is our immune system. 
it's not about the virus. It's about the host. Who's the host? You and I. We are the host. So let me ask you a question. Are you breaking yourself in this situation? How? And is this your unhealthy default reality? Just think about that for a moment. And while we're thinking about that, let's get down to some simple, easy hacks to stay sane and immune because we don't know for how long we need to do this. So this is the simplest. I know everybody is um, stuck with uh, resources. You don't, I mean, there's no Amazon and Flipkart and there's, you know, uh, you, the pharmacies uh, are running low on their stocks. So you don't know what supplements to eat or, you know, what, what, what are the other ways to keep yourself strong and immune? So let's start with some basics, which is staying hydrated. You and I are made of water, almost 60 to 70%. And if you know some of the key symptoms of COVID-19, it's a dry cough. That means that the moisture gets burnt out once the infection starts settling in. So if you keep your cells hydrated, your immune system will have a boost. How do you do that? The best way to keep yourself hydrated is to drink a lot of bone broths. For people who are vegetarian, you can create these vegetable stocks and broths made of mushrooms, um, all kinds of vegetables. Um, add a lot of wholesome spices, which we as uh, you know Indian households use, a lot of turmeric. When I'm saying turmeric tea, that can be your regular haldi dood. Or it can also be turmeric tea, which is, you know, you can boil some mint, some tulsi, some, you know, some seeds like, uh, you know, dried ginger and add raw unpasteurized honey and add some good quantity of turmeric and drink that as a tea, as a booster every day. When I talk about flavored waters, again, if you're not someone who enjoys drinking water, just add a little flavoring, add a piece of um, fruit if you can find, or a slice of lemon or some mint leaves, or just, you know, puree some aloe vera. And you know, these are very healing, very nourishing. And at the same time, they will ensure that, you know, the cells stay hydrated. If you can add a little bit of Himalayan salt or sea salt to your water, that's excellent because that will keep, you know, um, the electrolyte levels balanced. And you don't really need anything fancy here. The other point is sleeping well. Now, yes, we are all worried and anxious and we don't have enough physical activity during the day because our movement is restricted. Uh, but does that mean that our sleep has to get impacted? So, because every time you sleep less or the quality of sleep is bad, you'll realize that you're in a bad mood the next day uh, you feel, uh, your face feels puffy, your digestion doesn't feel uh, all that, you know, strong. You get hungrier, you get cravings. And that's just some of the superficial uh, aspects of not sleeping well. But, um, and I can discuss that until the cows come home. But um, today in this limited time, I would just like to share that the best way to get your sleep in place is early in the morning, just stand in the sun for 15 to 20 minutes, soak in that vitamin D because that will help set your circadian rhythm. It'll help your melatonin uh, you know, production. And uh, you know, vitamin D is an important hormone in the body and everybody needs this and we're not getting enough. So please do that. Uh, second thing is soak your feet in Epsom salt. Now, what is Epsom salt? It's magnesium sulfate. Uh, all your chemists will have that because I'm sure nobody is asking for magnesium sulfate right now. Uh, but magnesium is something that we're all deficient. Almost 80% of the population is deficient in. Magnesium helps us calm down. It is a primary component in a lot of body functions. And it helps us sleep better, best of all. The other thing is about deep breathing exercises. When we are stressed, we are not doing our belly breathing. So every time you feel a little worked up with your spouse, with your kids, um, with a colleague, take a moment, step back, breathe in, breathe out, do that a couple of times and see how nice you feel. And for sleep, the easiest hack, like I've spoken to some of you guys before, 
is 478. If you want to know more, just Google 478 breathing and you'll know how to do that. Now, what I'm supposed to talk about today, right? Nutrition. Eat nutrient dense meals. Now, we eat probably three to four meals in a day, but how many of those meals are really nutrient dense? When you're having your tea with a biscuit, that's not nutrient dense. Or when you're having, you know, uh, say a, a bowl of snacks, now that's not nutrient dense. That might satiate your emotional hunger for just that small period of time, but that's not nutrient dense. What I mean by nutrient dense is eating wholesome food in the truest natural forms, which is all kinds of vegetables. You have beans and lentils, with which you can soak and sprout them, which is your easiest form of protein. If you cannot, I'm hearing from a lot of people that you don't have access to uh, meat, fish, chicken right now. So use your beans, use your legumes, use your vegetables and create a broth and create a uh, protein out of that. For people who have run out of protein shakes, there's an excellent uh, protein powder that we all have access to in Indian households and that's called sattu. Just blend a spoon of sattu with uh, maybe a banana um, and some nut milk or a little bit of good quality organic milk if you still have it and just have it like a protein shake. It satiates you for a longer period of time and uh, with steady base of energy. Also minimize your, um, you know, carbohydrates, you know, to just one per meal. That if you're eating rice, then just eat rice with your dal and sabzis. If you're eating rotis, then just eat roti. Instead of combining your rice and rotis and, you know, any other carbohydrate forms, because that's going to create an overload that's going to upset your pancreas and your insulin production and you will start feeling sluggish in the middle of the day you'll feel like taking a nap and then you'll be hungry again very quickly so why do that and it will tax your immune system anyway so the key here is we we should ideally avoid food which can create a lot of phlegm all we want to do is save ourselves although we nobody can guarantee that we won't get the virus but we can really prepare a very strong host that's going to repel the virus. And if it comes, it stays for a very minimum time and you get the antibodies and you're strong. So avoid anything which is very heavy on dairy because that is going to make you prone to, you know, phlegm and mucus, uh, which we don't want. Sweets is something again, which will bring down your immune system. Because, like I said, um, you know, it will tax your pancreas and your insulin production. And that's not something what we want. And refined fluff items anyways are best avoided at this time because they will create a plethora of other issues. And you might get confused to, you know, a lot of people get uh, acid reflux symptoms when they have sweets and refined flour and heavy dairy. And that might confuse you to, oh, am I catching this cold or is it COVID-19? or is it something else? So if you keep these minimum, then at least you know when you're catching a cold or you're catching the virus, you kind of can feel the difference between whether it's food related or whether my immune system is really down and you know I'm catching something. Now, what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to create healthy deviance out of you. Yes, you're going to defy and you're not going to stick to everything that I'm asking you to do, but that's what it's beautiful, right? You learn. You learn from your mistakes. And how do we learn? With amplified awareness, which is, you know, what are my healthy choices? What are my unhealthy choices? And how to make them? Preemptive repair, which is, you stay ahead of the damage. You're preparing your bodies to be stronger so that, you know, you're not waiting to fall sick, but you're preparing it so that you don't fall sick. And continuous rhythm of learning and having a beginner's mind. When you're trying to read up on something and learn something, always, you know, start from a beginner's mind and fact check and learn and get curious to really figure out what's going on in my body and why is this happening and ask questions. Please reach out to me at any point in time after this webinar because I would really be happy to help any of you. So this is what I'm trying to say. And honestly, um, these are my coordinates please take them down and I would love to have a free session with any of you. I would like to say something here. Uh, 
you know, which is an American writer, Audre Lorde. You know, she has really said this beautifully, and that is caring for myself is not self-indulgence. It is self-preservation. And that is an act of political warfare. I'll read that out again for you. And hopefully you know what the governments are trying to do here and all the conspiracy theories fall flat if you live by this. I'll read that again. Caring for myself is not self-indulgence. It is self-preservation. And that is an act of political warfare. You want to participate in changing the world? Take care of yourself. And with this, I would love um, to hand this over to Abhijit, who is going to teach us, well, I'm talking about the mind, the body, the nutrition that you can absorb. And probably if I get another opportunity to uh, um, you know, speak to each one of you again, I would love to talk about um, different kind of vitamins and minerals and supplements that we can take in addition to what we are already doing here so that um, we have more ammunition with us and we are stronger and we are stronger together and um, you know which is a stronger community is a healthier community it's a more positive community and Abhijit is going to teach us how to stay fitter without becoming a slob in these times and I think we all need that for an increased amount of energy. So handing it over to you, Abhijit, thank you for sharing your time and knowledge with us today. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. I'm Abhijit. Abhijit Singh. Hello. Yeah. Sorry. Good morning, everyone. I'm Abhijit Singh. I'm a strength and conditioning coach. Uh, I'm a member of the Strength and Conditioning Association from uh, Australia. So last 12 years, I'm just uh, trying to make a client score on their fitness goal to achieve and then on their health goal. And I'll uh, handle the, so many cases uh, in medical cases like a trauma case, a depression case, and physical challenge cases, which I've better way I handled kiya hua hai. And uh, <clears throat> uh, I used to train some celebrities also, models also, cricketers also, and the athletes also. And I have done uh, corporate customized training also, like uh, McAfee, Quantified, Standard Chartered, and Radio One. In Kilim and training under Kurchuka Palebi. Last four years, I used to work as a club manager in Anytime Fitness, Vilipale West, Mumbai branch. My personal trainers ke liye bhi customize and uh, fitness workshops conduct karta hu. Mere kuch trainees hain jinko jo ki Singapore mein hain, US mein hain, Bombay mein hain jinko main online training bhi provide karta hu. So this is my little brief. Okay, so aaj hum baat karne wale hain exactly uh, physical health. Jaisa ki mere previous speakers ne bola exactly ki uh, mind and body ka coordination, same thing. Fitness ka do point hai. Ek mental fitness and second hai physical fitness. Aap physical activity ke liye bhi aap thode bhot active ho jayenge. Agar aisa nahi hai, to aap Okay, professional work, personal work, don't know. So, you have stress hormone release. And there is a fact that if you start physical activity, start karta hai, by default, you will eat at work well. If you have eating pattern better, then you will sleeping better. Ho so it's interconnected. Jaisi aapne physical activity start ki. So aapki choti choti habits dhere dhere align hone start ho jati hai. And once you sleep well, eat well, do physical activity well, then everything is fine. Tab aapka mind and then aap 
आपके काम सही सही तरीके से नहीं कर पाएंगे काफी प्रॉब्लम्स होती है आप सब सीनियर्स हैं आप सब के अंडर में काफी एम्प्लॉयज वर्क करते हैं आपके ऊपर आपकी फैमिली की रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज भी है और आपके एम्प्लॉयज की रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज भी है अगर आप फिजिकली एंड मेंटली फिट नहीं है तो आप उन इस कंडीशन को कैसे हैंडल करेंगे राइट right नाउ जो कंडीशन चल रही है सब लोग इन साइड द होम है क्योंकि बाहर सब लॉकडाउन है इस कंडीशन में आप अपने आप को कैसे एक्टिव रख सकते हैं मेंटली एंड फिजिकली बोथ आपको बहुत सारी चीजें घर पे भी हैंडल करनी है बहुत सारी चीजें आपको अपने काम की भी हैंडल करनी है बोथ साइड सो अभी जब 15-20 दिन के बाद जब हम नॉर्मल लाइफ स्टाइल में आएंगे हमारे ऑफिस ओपन हो जाएंगे मार्केट्स ओपन हो जाएगा देन अभी से तब में आप पहले से ज्यादा एनर्जेटिक होने चाहिए फोकस्ड होने चाहिए एंड एक्टिव भी होने चाहिए ताकि आप अपने काम को और बेटर वे में कर पाए हमारे नॉर्मल लाइफ स्टाइल में हमें कुछ बेसिक बॉडी पेन्स समथिंग प्रॉब्लम्स होती है जिसपे मैं अभी बात करने वाला हूँ दूसरा जो लोग डेस्क वर्क ज्यादा करते हैं या ट्रेवल ज्यादा करते हैं उनमें भी कुछ बेसिक प्रॉब्लम्स uh, होती है जस्ट लाइक फिजिकल पेन समथिंग एंड कुछ लोग जो एक्टिव होते हैं कुछ हाइपर एक्टिव होते हैं कुछ एक्टिव होते हैं दो जो आर हाइपर एक्टिव डेफिनेटली उनको इंजरीज के चांसेस बने रहते हैं दो जो आर जस्ट एक्टिव यानी ऑन एंड ऑफ फिजिकल एक्टिविटी करते हैं उनमें भी इंजरीज के चांसेस होते हैं दोनों का क्राइटेरिया थोड़ा डिफरेंट हो जाता है सो so, मैं कुछ बेसिक बट वेरी यूजफुल एक्सरसाइजेस डेमोन्स्ट्रेट करने वाला हूँ जिसको आप घर पे कर सकते हैं और एक्टिव रह सकते हैं ओके सो जैसे कि नॉर्मली लाइफ में हमें अपर बैक का प्रॉब्लम पेन रहता है सर्वाइकल से रिलेटेड लोअर बैक से रिलेटेड नी से रिलेटेड पेन होता है एंड स्टिफनेस होती है सो so, इसको हम ओवरकम कैसे कर सकते हैं इनको कैसे हैंडल कर सकते हैं बेटर वे में वो मैं आपको एक्सप्लेन करूंगा सम ऑफ देम डूइंग मैराथन ट्रेनिंग या फिर हैवी वेट ट्रेनिंग उनमें भी समथिंग समथिंग प्रॉब्लम्स रहती है जस्ट लाइक कि दो आर डूइंग रेगुलर रनिंग उनका एक्लेस टेंडन स्टिफ हो जाता है जो हील के सराउंडिंग टेंडन है वो काफी स्टिफ हो जाता है तो उनको हील से रिलेटेड पेन स्टार्ट होने लगता है कुछ अगर वीक होगी तो कभी नी कैप के ऊपर ओवर साइड या बिलो पेन जनरेट हो जाता है वो एक्सेसिव यूज से हो जाता है हेमस्ट्रिंग स्टिफनेस हेमस्ट्रिंग हमारा हमें बॉडी को एग्जैक्टली पुल फॉरवर्ड के लिए एफर्ट करता है सपोर्ट करता है अगर वो स्टिफ होगा तो भी हमारे हेमस्ट्रिंग में ग्लूट्स में पेन होगा एंड लोअर बैक का पेन भी उसके बेस पे रहता है शिन स्प्लिंट जो लोग अपने कैपेसिटी से ज्यादा रनिंग करते हैं या सडनली रनिंग स्टार्ट कर देते हैं चाहे वो ट्रेडमिल पे हो चाहे वो ऑन द ग्राउंड हो कहीं पर भी उनमें शिन के पास में बोन के जस्ट इन साइड डीप साइड डीप टिश्यूज में पेन स्टार्ट हो जाता है वो सोनेस के वजह से होता है ओवर यूज उसकी भी स्ट्रेचिंग एंड फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी करनी पड़ती है आई टी बैंड ये हमारा थाइस के साइड पोर्शन होता है जो कि कनेक्टिव टिश्यूज है जब हम ओवर यूज करते हैं वर्कआउट एक्सेसिव लोड अगर हमने लिफ्ट किया है स्कॉट्स में या हमने बहुत ज्यादा मार्शल आर्ट समथिंग काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटी की प्रैक्टिस की हुई है या हम रनिंग ज्यादा करते हैं तो भी वो कनेक्टिव टिश्यूज टायर्ड हो जाते हैं फटीक हो जाते हैं जिस वजह से पेन होता है एंड स्ट्रेस फैक्चर दिस इज एग्जैक्टली ओवर यूज फटीक मसल्स के बेस पे होता है हम लोग कभी भी हम लोग सिर्फ टारगेट मसल्स को फोकस करते हैं सपोर्टिंग मसल्स को फोकस नहीं करते उसके साथ साथ हम लोग उनको फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी उस मसल्स पे जनरेट करने के लिए भी फोकस नहीं करते क्यों इनको करना जब आपकी बॉडी फ्लेक्सिबल होगी तो ब्लड एंड ब्लड के साथ ऑक्सीजन एंड न्यूट्रिशन का ट्रांसपोर्टेशन प्रॉपर होगा तो आपके डेड सेल्स रिपेयर फास्ट होंगे एंड यू फील बेटर ऑल्सो सो so, जो एक्टिविटी करते हैं उनमें सम ये प्रॉब्लम्स हो जाती है फिजिकल पेन्स जो एक्टिविटी नहीं करते हैं सेडेंट्री लाइफ स्टाइल वाले हैं उनमें सम अदर प्रॉब्लम्स राइट नाउ हम लोग ऑलमोस्ट सेडेंट्री लाइफ स्टाइल में है क्योंकि हम लोग कोई भी एक्टिविटी बाहर नहीं कर सकते सो so, उस कंडीशन में आपका जो पेन जोन है जो नॉर्मल लाइफ में आपको पेन पिंच होता है उसको आप कैसे ओवरकम कर सकते हैं आई शो दैट ऑल्सो 
सो ये कुछ एक्सरसाइजेस मैं आपको डेमोन्स्ट्रेट करने जा रहा हूँ आप बहुत अच्छे से ध्यान से उसे देखिए एंड ट्राई कीजिए उसे फॉलो करने के लिए डेफिनेटली आप पेन जोन से बाहर आ जाएंगे आपको हेल्प मिलेगा आई एम हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर सो ये मैं अगेंस्ट द वॉल एक बॉल आपको लेनी है टेनिस बॉल होगी या फिर uh, ऐसे फीजो बॉल भी चलेगा कुछ भी ये बॉल आप लीजिए फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हम कर रहे हैं इट सेल्फ मायोफिजल मसाज डीप टिश्यू मसाज इसमें किसी असिस्टेंट की जरूरत नहीं है जस्ट टेक अ बॉल ये बॉल को आप शोल्डर पे यहाँ पे रखिए और वॉल से वॉल के अगेंस्ट जैसे स्टैंड कर रहे हैं अब आप ये अप डाउन होके एक स्लाइड सब पुश करके बॉडी को आप ये मूवमेंट्स कर सकते हैं सो so, आपका स्ट्रेट रोमबॉइड के पास आपका जो मसल है शोल्डर ब्लेड्स के जस्ट बैक साइड वो थोड़ा मसाज होकर के रिलीज हो जाता है जो स्टिफनेस है ये साइड टू साइड भी आप मूव कर सकते हैं दिस पे थोड़ा जेंटल पुश करके सो so, ये आपका अपर बैक का पेन रिलीज करेगा जिनको सर्वाइकल की प्रॉब्लम है उनका ये पोर्शन डेफिनेटली बहुत स्टिफ होता है दोज हुआ वर्किंग दिन में काफी घंटे अगर वो सिस्टम पे वर्क करते हैं डेस्क वर्क करते हैं तो उनका डेफिनेटली सर्वाइकल प्रॉब्लम होता है स्टिफ हो जाता है मसल्स उसे रिलीज करने के लिए यूज दिस एंड यूज दिस ऑल्सो फॉर योर लोअर बैक मसल रिलीजिंग ऑल्सो जिनका हैंडस्ट्रिंग स्टिफ है ग्लूट मसल्स काफी स्टिफ है उनको लोअर बैक से रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम हंड्रेड होनी है अगर अभी नहीं है तो फ्यूचर में होगी डेफिनेटली सो उसके लिए हमें पहले से प्रिपेयर रहना है सो यूज दिस बॉल यहाँ लोअर बैक पे रखना है ये टू ज्वाइंट होते हैं तो बोन एस आई ज्वाइंट इसको कहते हैं उसके पास में रखना है ये सेम वे वॉल के अगेंस्ट हम इसे मसाज करेंगे दिस वे साइड टू साइड थर्टी सेकेंड्स वन मिनट एक जेंटल प्रेस करके बहुत ज्यादा हार्ड पुश नहीं करना है नहीं तो मसल्स बहुत ज्यादा एक्टिव हो जाएगी हमें रिलीज कर करना है जो आप भी कर सकते हैं दिस वे समाइम को लेफ्ट साइड पेन होता है समटाइम राइट साइड पेन होता है कि स्ट्रेट नर्व पे दैट नर्व कॉल्ड एक्चुअली द साइटिका नर्व अगर आप इस बेस पे भी उसे मसाज करते हैं जेंटल तो वो पेन काफी हद तक सेटल हो जाता है सो दिस द वे टू मोबिलाइज इट सेल्फ आपका डीप मसल टिश्यू ठीक है सो so, ये बॉल का यूज हो गया सेम इसी वॉल पे ही वॉल के अगेंस्ट ही हमें अपर बैक का और फ्लेक्सिबल एक्सरसाइज करनी है जैसे रोटेटर कफ द इन साइड शोल्डर ब्लेड एक मसल होती है जो कि हमेशा टाइट होती है जिसके बेस पे भी अपर बैक से रिलेटेड एंड सर्वाइकल से रिलेटेड पेन हमेशा सबको होता है सो यू डू दिस थिंग वॉल के अगेंस्ट स्ट्रेट स्टैंड होना है नी को थोड़ा ब्रेक करके रखेंगे बैक पूरा वॉल से टच होगा एल्बो 90 डिग्री शोल्डर लेवल पे करेंगे ब्रीद आउट करके हैंड्स को ऊपर लेना है वॉल टूअर्ड द वॉल अब हमें यहाँ फोकस करना है कि हमारा एल्बो और रिस्ट वॉल पे 100 परसेंट टच होना चाहिए कनेक्ट वो भी 90 डिग्री हैंड्स ओपन करके नहीं हैंड्स क्लोज करके नहीं ये 90 डिग्री का एंगल मेंटेन करना बहुत जरूरी है देन ब्रीद इन Hands down. Again, breathe out. Up, breathe in down. Breathe out. Up, breathe in down. Ten to fifteen times. आप ये कर सकते हैं. Same exercise. आप यहाँ पे भी कर सकते हैं. This is called shoulder level rotator cuff external rotation, and this is waist level rotator cuff external rotation. This is little tough comparison to ninety degree. यहाँ पे अगर आपका बोथ हैंड टुगेदर मूव नहीं होता है तो डू वन हैंड ओनली इसमें भी आपको ट्राई करना है कि आपका एल्बो पॉइंट वे आपके ऑब्लिक्स के पास में रहेगा एकदम बैक को पूरा टच रखना है और ये स्लोली ब्रीद आउट करके ओपन करना है बहुत से लोगों का ये 50 परसेंट पे ही रुकने वाला है क्योंकि उनका एंटायर अपर बैक रीजन इज स्टेफ क्योंकि उनका पॉस्चर मोस्टर टाइम ये होता है दैट इज नॉट अमारा नेचुरल पॉस्चर So, हमें अप फ्रंट पे रहना है चेस्ट अप करके हैंड्स को यहाँ पे बोथ हैंड या सिंगल हैंड एज ए विश जो आपको बॉडी अलाउ कर रही डू दैट पे स्ट्रेच ब्रीद आउट करके ब्रीद इन बैक जितना स्लो करेंगे उतने ज्यादा मसल टिश्यूज एक्टिवेट होंगे इन्वॉल्व होंगे एंड जल्दी से जल्दी फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी जनरेट होगी ओके 
do this also 10 times 15 times 20 times whatever ye aap every day kar sakte hain jaisa ki abhi pal mein ne bola exactly ki aap early morning 10 to 15 minutes jaise hi sun rays hota hai just you can do deep breathing exercise sun bath also you feel more and more positive in and negative out after that you can start this also so first is this exercise second is this after ball se jo humne mobilize kiya uske baad third exercise aap isi position pe hands ko upar raise karna hai overhead press without anything is pe sirf itna focus karna hai aapko ki aapka elbow and wrist dono hi wall se क्योंकि स्टिफनेस ज्यादा होगी जस्ट ऑफ स्ट्रेच मूव एंड अगेन स्टार्ट से आपको बढ़ने में आप एंटायर अपर बैक फ्लैक्स हो जाएगा ठीक है अभी मैं आपको कुछ फैक्ट डेमोन्स्ट्रेट कर रहा हूँ जिसमें हम टी सी ये ट्यूब लेंगे इसको स्ट्रेच करेंगे ओके Yes. Elbow is straight होगा हमारा ओके एल्बो को सॉफ्ट नहीं रखना है स्ट्रेट कंप्लीट स्ट्रेट स्ट्रेच करेंगे ट्यूब को ब्रीद आउट करते हुए ये पूरा बैक साइड जाएगा से दिस साइड व्यू कंप्लीट बट तक आना है यहां से वापस ब्रीद इन एंड ब्रीद आउट फ्रंट इस मोमेंट में हमें एल्बो को सॉफ्ट नहीं करना है ये आपके कंप्लीट अपर बैक एंटायर डेल्टॉइड anterior shoulder middle shoulder posterior shoulder upper back trap muscles in sab pe flexibility generate karega aapko movements allow karega so do that 10 to 20 counts this way slowly slowly one side breathe in one side breathe out this is after that kuch exercises floor pe hai i'll show that also बहुत ही केयरफुल देखिए और ट्राई कीजिएगा बाद में आप फॉलो करने के लिए एंड शो ऑन द फ्लोर आल्सो जस्ट अ सेकेंड I think there is a uh, problem with his bandwidth. Uh, he will join in soon. Just to speak. Yeah. Uh, Apple, one moment. Abhijit, I need to uh, turn off. Uh, Uh, you need to switch on your video uh. 
So, uh, Rohit, while Abhijit is trying to come back, uh, are there any questions you want to take uh, a few that you can answer? Yes, so there was uh, one question from Payal uh, which says, for vegetarians and egatarians, uh, what is the best, best way to get adequate and sustainable magnesium and zinc? I have a personal challenge where my diet is not able to provide me required levels of the said minerals. While you're on mute. Uh, Just answering that uh, to Vinod. So zinc, I think um, if you are a vegetarian and, and you eat eggs, so you're already consuming eggs. Eggs are a good source of uh, zinc. And so are pumpkin seeds, uh, nuts, um, legumes and beans, uh, whole grains and um, which is pretty much the same for magnesium as well. So leafy vegetables, cashews, mm -hmm. almonds, beans, yogurt, they're all good sources of uh, magnesium. Mm -hmm. But if uh, we're talking of supplement, then the bioavailable form of zinc and magnesium are uh, magnesium biglycinate and magnesium, sorry, uh, magnesium citrate and magnesium biglycinate and the same for zinc. So which is zinc this also, uh, you can use that way. Uh, the upper body. Uh, first is overhead press on his stomach. Second in hands lateral movements on stomach. Third hair <coughs> quadriceps ball rolling. This way we have muscle tissue ko release kiya against the wall. Same hum with the hand. Aapke cords ko bhi kar sakte. Sit like that. Hands with this, a gentle press karke, just roll the ball and tire your quadriceps. The thighs, exactly just say bolte. The side one also. The rotation is better. You do that way. Up and down, full. Kneecap se thoda sa upar kak. The side and then little bit inside the thighs and the back. Do this first for quadriceps. Mobilization, tissue massage. And then your hamstring is ball ko direct niche position karna hai hamstring ke both hands get through this one leg get through thoda sa lift your body and then move. So just leg pe aap karenge wo leg aapka on air hoga. Mera heel raise ho gaya hai. Complete pressure hamstring pe. You move that way up and down. So aapka pura hamstring ka jo stiffness hai wo release hoga. Fascia muscles release hogi. Skin and muscle ke beech mein ek layer hota hai, that's the fascia. Usse release karna baut zoruri hai. Zara tar pain hume uske base pe hota hai, jab wo stiff ho jata hai. Fatigue ho jata hai. Us pe hume, uske wajay se hume zada pain hota hai. You have to release this way. So hamstring ka release kiya. Quadriceps ka release kiya. Now calf. Same way, ball ko position karenge below the calf. Push karenge. And then lift it, your body a little bit, and the move. And tap. Jo ladies zada heel pante hai, unko calf se related or heel se related problem hamesha hogi stiffness ki. Suppose that agar aap office mein zada time uh, high heel footwear use karte hai, aur phir uske baad aap workout mein aap ke workout shoes pante hai, to wo naturally aapko stretch condition mein de deta hai aapka heel, Achilles tendon. So, you have pain suddenly. Hoga. And once you start activity, then you feel pain on your foot also. So, use this ball for releasing overall and try to avoid heel. Sometimes it's fine, but try to. Those who are the male person using most of the time leather shoes, apne formal shoes, unko bhi same problem. Hoti hai. Feet stiff. Ho jata hai. So, unko pain hoga. Okay, plantar fascia bolte hai, exactly. So, now we have rolling kiya quadriceps, 
हैमस्ट्रिंग नी अभी हम स्ट्रेच कर रहे हैं नी का इसी पोजीशन पे आपको बैठना है ऑन योर नीज एक लेग फॉरवर्ड लीजिए दिस वे इट्स अ 90 डिग्री पोजीशन नाउ जो लेग आपने फॉरवर्ड फीट पे रखा है उसे थोड़ा और फॉरवर्ड मूव करेंगे एंड बोथ हैंड इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर बॉडी ड्रॉप ठीक है तो एग्जैक्टली साइड आपके लेग से साइड पे ये ड्रॉप किया आपने अभी ड्रॉप करने के बहुत ज्यादा स्ट्रेट होगा हैंडस्ट्रिंग बहुत स्ट्रेट होगा दे कांट लिफ्ट लेग टू डू दैट वे ओनली डू इट हियर So, Pail can take other questions. Rohit, there were some few more questions. Yes. So, there is uh, another question on uh, what is the good source of vitamin B12 and vitamin D uh, if you are not able to do sunba. So, um, I would say that I would say that um, B12. Back again. Yes, I'll probably answer once Abhijit is done. Okay. So, yes, you can move uh, red dot from your channel. Lower back hip pain से related जितनी भी problem है कोई भी अगर किसी को problem है वो जिनको problem नहीं है वो भी ये exercise कर सकते हैं. So, lie down on your back, complete this way. Heel. से बॉडी का डिस्टेंस उतना होगा जितना आपका फिंगर टच होना चाहिए हील पे ओके जस्ट अब बैठा थोड़ा बेटर विजुअल होगा आपको यस टच योर मिडिल फिंगर से आपका हील इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द हील एंड बट एंड बिटवीन द लेग डिस्टेंस शोल्डर लेवल हैंड्स को पूरा यहाँ पे रेस्ट करेंगे ब्रीक आउट करते हुए आपको बट को रेस करना है एंड टॉर्सो को स्क्वीज करना है टॉर्सो हेमस्ट्रिंग एंड ग्लूट्स इन तीनों मसल्स ग्रुप को स्क्वीज करेंगे विद ब्रीदिंग आउट दिस वे सो स्क्वीज योर ग्लूट्स स्क्वीज योर हेमस्ट्रिंग एंड स्क्वीज योर टॉर्सो होल्ड इट हेयर एटलीस्ट फाइव सेकेंड्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड ब्रीद आउट डाउन जिस टाइम हमने बॉडी को होल्ड कर रखा है ब्रिज पोजिशन पे वहां पे ब्रीदिंग होल्ड नहीं करना है ओनली होल्ड योर मसल्स रेडी वंस अगेन सी अब स्क्वीज योर टॉर्सो ग्लूट्स हेमस्ट्रिंग होल्ड इट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड डाउन दिस इज कॉल्ड ब्रिज एग्जैक्टली लोअर बैक पेन हीलिंग के लिए ये बहुत ही यूजफुल है नॉर्मल लाइफ स्टाइल में भी जिनको पेन है वो भी कर सकते हैं जिनको ऑलरेडी बैक पेन है वो भी ये एक्सरसाइज कर सकते हैं इट इज अफेस्ट एक्सरसाइज और बैक एंड कोर हीलिंग कोर स्ट्रेंथनिंग अभी हम करेंगे सुपरमैन जिसे हम बो भी बोलते हैं कॉमन लैंग्वेज में सुपरमैन बोलते हैं ऑन स्टमक लाइड ऑन करेंगे ऑल्टरनेट हैंड्स एंड लेग रेज होल्ड फाइव फाइव सेकेंड्स इट साइड and then both hands and both legs together raise and hold 5 seconds i'll show see this way forehead down both hands body line pe hoga now one hand forward like right hand forward ab breathe out karke aapko right hand with left leg opposite hoga lift karna hai this way and lift your chest out सो अदर पार्ट जो बॉडी का है लेफ्ट हैंड एंड राइट लेग वो फ्लोर पे रेस्ट रहेगा एंड डाउन एंड अगेन ब्रीद आउट अप 
Hold it five seconds and down. And Contract of a span of five seconds and draw. Even body hold and score is on the page Uh, I think I'll uh, check with Abhijit if he can record uh, some of these exercises and we share the link uh, with all the attendees. So I think they'll be able to follow that better because there seems to be a problem. Uh, maybe we should take uh, some questions. So uh, if you have any additional questions, uh, please uh, put in your questions uh, in the chat or the Q&A section. So, yeah. Abhijit, yeah, one, uh, Abhijit, uh, about this, actually, sorry. Okay. So, Abhijit, Abhijit can. Okay. Oh, your video is yeah. off. Uh, so, actually. What? Right, go ahead. Yeah. Go, ahead, go with the questions. Uh, you can mute Abhijit because it's a little choppy and move forward. Sure. Uh, there was again one question for Abhijit. What is the type of ball that he mentioned? Uh, so, uh, questions for the panelists who are there right now, quickly yeah. for Pal or for Vitas or myself. <clears throat> so, uh, Pal, there was that question for you, good source of uh, vitamin B12 and uh, vitamin D. Okay. So, uh, good sources of uh, B12 will be different kind of mushrooms like, uh, you know, shiitake mushrooms, although the regular button mushrooms will have less of that. Shiitake mushroom will have more concentrated form and uh, you get something called as nutritional yeast which is again for vegetarians and vegans, uh, that's a very good source of uh, B12. And that it, it comes in small flakes, yellow flakes, and it can be sprinkled on food or it can be added to sauces. And uh, it has a little uh, cheesy flavor to it. So if you want to consume that um, through food, I would say uh, nutritional yeast is your best bet. Although dairy products also do have uh, B12, but uh, we may not be able to absorb as much from a food. So in certain cases, if you know that your B12 levels are really low, then um, you could opt for supplementation. And the supplementation that you should ideally opt for has to be a form called methylcobalamine. Not cyanocobalamine, but methylcobalamine. So when you're uh, going for a supplement, whether even if it's from your pharmacy, I think um, please check what components it has um, because that is key. Uh, the other thing about D3, someone asked me uh, is uh, again, D3 uh, supplementation is possible through um, cold calciferol sachets and tablets, which is like maybe 60,000 um, you know, units once a week. Or if you're taking it daily, then uh, 2000 is a good number. Uh, if you want to focus on food, then yes, if you are consuming fortified dairy, when I say fortified, it's like uh, added, uh, you know, vitamins, uh, fortified dairy, egg, seafood, um, oily fish, butter, liver, um, like if, you know, like um, goat liver or chicken liver, these are good sources. But uh, if you're not able to, then the easiest way to is just stand in your uh, window where you get morning sun or if it's the afternoon sun, it's not the best, but at least, you know, you can probably be in the sun uh, four o'clock onwards. 
um so just going for a 15 minute um, you know little bit of an activity in the sun or if you don't have access to um say you know that kind of uh, you know you don't have a window from where you get the sunlight or you don't have a balcony then till then if you can get uh, a supplement from the chemist then you can also focus on that sure thanks smile I can take, uh, I think uh, the question that uh, people were asking Abhijit in terms of what kind of ball can be used, basically um, it should be, you know, you know, you get the rubber balls, the, the ones that cricket, you know, kids play uh, cricket, the smaller, softer red rubber balls, or you can use tennis balls because that's the ideal size. It's easy to carry, um, you know, plus later, whenever, once everybody starts traveling or your kids will have that kind of a ball or if you have a stress ball or uh, because, um, you know, because we don't, not everyone will have a physio ball. Physio balls are a little harder and they create the right amount of pressure when you roll against the wall. Uh, so this kind of uh, a ball is just ideal and handy and Hence, you know, that's the easiest solution we all can have at our fingertips. Sure. Uh, so I think uh, we are already uh, quite over time. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, you can write back to us. Uh, we, we have our email IDs and uh, our details mentioned. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, once again uh, to Vikas, uh, Payal, Jagdish uh, and Abhijit for this wonderful session. And uh, I'd like to thank each one of the attendees uh, for participating in this session uh, and stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for your valuable time. Thank you.